welcome back to Searched Up with Sienna and part two of my interview with Paul Lieberstein. A lot of like the most memorable scenes are with you and Steve Carell. Did you have like a favorite moment? <laughs> there's, some, there's some Michael stuff that I remember acting in. Um, I guess there was one, well, you know, when he was playing, um, uh, when he was prison Mike and then he locked yeah. everyone in. Uh-huh. And I just told him, I just told him people were kidding. <laughs> and so it wasn't our best scene um, in the show or anything, but somehow I loved, and then he just took his time to really, he was looking right at me. He's kidding. And, and uh, it really took his time to think about that. And it was just a really fun, just a fun moment. Yeah. I remember I have I have a lot of favorites um, with Toby and Michael. One of them was the donut one where um, Toby um, is like, "Oh, it's your birthday, Michael." Oh uh, yeah. You didn't know it's my birthday, and he's and he's like, and you're like, I I guess I forgot, and he's like, "Well, I guess I forgot to give you a donut." I thought that one was really funny, um, <laughs> and I also like the one where you're talk where you guys are like sitting in the cafeteria. I'm pretty sure eating lunch. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I love that one too. And you like, and he's just, and you're just talking to him. You're like, you know, I know what you're going through too. And he, and he just slowly pushes, pushes the tray off the table. <laughs> that Which was wasn't in the script. That wasn't in the script. I, oh, I, really? I told him, hey, you do that on the last take. <laughs> and uh, I didn't, I didn't think he was going to do it that way. He did it so funny. I know it was really good and one of the things that I went back and watched which I thought was also really funny is when Toby returns and Michael's like by your by your desk and he's just like like explaining something about the desk and he and and then he turns around and you're like right there and he's staring at you and they're like hey Mike and he just interrupts you and he's like starts screaming at you no like no go away please because <laughs> he didn't <laughs> want you there <laughs> He just screamed, no, no, no. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of the finer things club too. There was a moment where he uh he kind of shouted him like he saw my bow tie and he was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and uh and I just kind of uh, I there was no there was no scripted line and I just kind of mouthed but, yeah. uh, really like weekly. And he broke up laughing. And it was one of the few times that I got him to to crack. Yeah. yeah. And I yeah, and also on Michael's birthday, I remember he checks you into the glass on the ice. Yes. Stage. He just like, <laughs> you. did that hurt? Like, did he actually do that hard? Or was it more of like, like an acting sort of thing? It was acting and it was also a stunt. So I had, I uh, had pads. It was all uh, planned. Out, you know? Uh huh. One of the episodes you wrote was called Cocktails. And I know J.J. Yeah. Abrams directed um, directed that too. And I'm a big Star Wars fan. I've watched all of the Star Wars movies. Um, what was it like working with him? It was amazing working with him. I learned so much that week. I, I stood by his side the whole time <laughs> and watched him go. And there was this one, mo there was this one scene where... Um, uh, Jim was, uh, I had scripted that he was like standing against the wall, you know, just not enjoying the party. Mm -hmm. And JJ said he wanted to put him in the middle of the room. And I was like, this just doesn't feel right. You know, uh, that uh, he's in the middle of the room. People, so, you know, when people are not liking a party, they don't just stay in the middle of the room. And and everyone was, everyone, you know, John Krasinski said, shut up, it's JJ, just let him do it. <laughs> and, and, but I didn't, I, and, uh, and then I saw him just kind of look around the room and really rethink the whole thing. And he found a way to do it even better. Uh, he put him up against a doorway, so he was kind of against the wall, but then there was so much depth behind him. And he found, he found a shot that was, and I always think about that while I'm directing now. It's like, there is a way to do it. There's a third way. There's always a way to get everything you want and it's even better. Definitely, yeah. Sometimes yeah. you just gotta think it and use the other person's idea and combine them. Sometimes it can be better than your original idea even if you're yeah. like it. Um, but yeah, I think that's actually a really good lesson for directing too. Um, yeah, definitely. And um, 
what was your what is your writing process when you're writing scripts what do you what what do you do how do you write how do you start um it starts different ways sometimes it's with a joke or sometimes it's with something that's going on with the character like Uh um like even just a conflict but or sometimes it's just pairing two characters that haven't been together in a while we haven't seen these two characters and just say what happens when we put them together yeah you know in the room and how can we get them together um or you know because we were the office it was like well what is a really normal office thing that happens uh-huh you know just bring your bring your daughter to work days just the normal and then like what are all the ideas that we can come up with that and then it's just generation and filling it out and more ideas and start shaping them and like get an idea and you just make it okay here's this idea and here's this idea and here's this idea hey mm-hmm. what if we start moving them around and oh this kind of feels like a story now now I'm just to keep going and then it's iteration after iteration and from there to you know beat sheets and outlines and draft after draft after draft just poking and seeing if we can make it better when you have an idea for a next episode um do you like take notes or do you put them on sticky notes and then move them around that's it exactly it's like okay this is a fun idea what are all these other ideas that can come before it around it how can i get to it and some of them don't make sense and sometimes i don't know but here they are and this is a funny thing and you know um you know uh ed has reason has to lead a presentation you know what are all the things that can happen there and how might he choke and why might he care um and then yeah and sometimes they don't even make sense together for a long time until you you find that connecting piece do you get writer's block a lot and if you do how often do you usually get it hmm um, the best cure for a writer's block is a deadline. So when I'm writing The Office or I'm on a show, no, mm-hmm. I don't. You just write, Yeah. you know, and it doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to come out good. It just has to come out and then you can make it better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when I'm sitting now and I'm kind of looking for a new idea, I'll watch a lot of YouTube videos and <laughs> um, I can go days without writing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you recently are working on Space Force with Steve Carell on Netflix right now. Can you talk a little bit about that? I really worked on on one season and then oh. I guess I helped out a little bit on this season too. In the beginning, we did a, we did 10 weeks trying to figure out what could happen. Yeah. Uh, But then uh, a new group of writers came in and they're doing, they're putting all the scripts together. But so Space Force was really fun. It was, it was really all coming off of this one Donald Trump idea to, to uh, create a Space Force in case we get attacked from the sky. Uh Uh, And, uh, um, and after, you know, Steve, Steve uh, wanted to do that, it just seemed, oh, this is going to be easy. This will be yeah. Fun. yeah. Is there anything else that you're working on right now? Um, let's see. I'm going to, I'm finishing up uh, this project for Audible. So it's like a, um, uh, it's like a, like a audio only play. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, and it's got fun actors in it. Will Forte plays a space captain who has no interest in being a captain. And he's really much more interested in uh, the hospitality industry and he wants yeah. to open a burger chain. And, and so he won't go on any missions and he won't just dis- respond to any distress calls. And it's <laughs> just a life in space, you know, yeah. killing time. <laughs> And yeah. it's pretty silly and it's really fun. Rain's in it. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah and a I... lot of great actors are in it. Do you know when it's going to come out? Uh, come out in a few months. I think 
probably like uh, May or June. Oh, wow. Yay. I can't wait to see it. Sounds really good. Uh, and um, do you have a favorite snack when you're in the writer's room? Uh, yeah, I have kind of a weakness for peanut M&Ms. I can't, can't resist, <laughs> but I try. Yeah. And I, this is more of a comment than a question. Um, okay. I, I recently got, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the board game Clue. Um, I recently For got, sure. I recently got Clue, but it was the office edition. And basically the whole premise of the board game is to find out who killed Toby. Um, I don't know if you've heard of it or not, but my family and I have been playing it constantly. And <laughs> it's always so funny because we're always trying to figure out who killed Toby. And I don't know if you've heard of it, but. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know that was the goal. I have one, but I've never opened it. It's a lot of fun actually. We, like there's, you have to figure out um, who it was. So it would, I think the the options, there's like Angela, Stanley, Andy, P Pam, Jim, like all those people. And then you also have to figure out the room. So it may be annex, it may be um, like uh -huh. the, the warehouse, the parking lot, like rooms like that, Michael's office. And then you also have to figure out the weapon. So is it like, for example, it has to do with some of the episodes, like um, there's the world's best cup of coffee mug. I know there's the rabid bat from the episode where Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> so it's sort of really funny because it kind of connects to all of the episodes and I just love playing it. So I know it's not really a question, but I didn't know if you've heard of it or not. Uh, uh, thanks for making me aware of that. Uh, I'll check it out. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. And um, before we come to an end, um, it's been a lot of fun, but I do this thing every once in a while with my guests on my show and it's called a rapid fire so basically i'll ask you five questions today and it's good you have to answer the fastest that you can and if it's okay, okay. If you, like don't know the answer because that happens sometimes that's just the fun of it okay. okay ready um three two one okay um favorite vacation spot uh hawaii it's um, not though it's not <laughs> hawaii but i panic <laughs> Um, do you do you can say it if you want if you have a different vacation spot? I don't even like Hawaii that much. No, I don't have a vacation. Spot. <laughs> um, dogs or cats? Uh, dogs. Favorite. I have cats. <laughs> What's that? Favorite hobby? Chess. Um, something people would be surprised to know about you. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have a lot of surprises. I don't know. Um, Scranton or NYC? NYC. And this one is a little question that has to do with the office. Um, Bears, Beats, or Battlestar Galactica? <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Um, I want to thank you so much for doing this. It was really, really fun to talk to you. And I was really My excited. My pleasure. It was great talking to you. You too. What a fun show. You're really good at this. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I was really, I was really excited when I got to talk to you because I love The Office so much and oh, I, I love Toby and I think it's really cool all that you did on The Office. So I want to thank you for taking the time again. Of course, of course. All right, you're welcome. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Mr. Lieberstein. Your work is amazing and it was such an honor to talk to you. And now, before we search it up, here's a quick fun fact. Do you know that Angela Kinsey, who plays Angela on the show, actually auditioned for the role of Pam? Wow, that's pretty cool. And now it's time to search it up. Let's see. Oh, Phyllis Smith, who plays Phyllis on The Office, actually was also in Inside Out. So, next week, we're going to be talking about Inside Out. See you then!